Well, we had a very, I would say, acceptable bye week, you know, last week in terms of the work and the things that we were able to do. A lot of opportunities for a lot of players to improve and get some repetitions on uh, for the young players especially to um, be able to get closer to being able to play winning football. Uh, this is obviously the most challenging part of our season. Um, we need everybody's energy. We need everybody's focus and intensity uh, to prepare for the games, uh, this game in particular especially, um, because this part of the season really defines who you are and defines you as a team and creates a total identity for the team that you are. So good preparation and focus is really important and get lost in what's front of you uh, in terms of the challenges that we have uh, starting this year with you know, a very, very good LSU team. Um, LSU has gotten better as the season has gone on. Probably the worst thing that happened for all of us in the SEC is when they lost to Troy. You know, they've really made a turnaround as a team, which I th think speaks volumes of the coaching staff and the job that Ed Ogeron has done there uh, to get the players to recenter, refocus, uh, work on improving. They've been very productive since that time and uh, playing very, very well as a team. This, you know, game has turned into a huge rivalry um, through the years since I've been here, especially, I guess, but um, probably even before that. But since 2007, I think um, both teams have been ranked in the top 20 in each one of these games that we played. And uh, I don't think this one's, you know, really any different. So, you know, LSU has done a great job of taking care of the ball this year on offense. They only have like five or six turnovers for the whole year. Um, Offensively, they've done a great job of running the ball. They've got a great running back. The quarterback has been very efficient in his passing and how he runs the offense. they got a great receiver in number seven. Um, their defense is ranked nationally in a lot of categories and has played very well. And uh, pretty typical sort of LSU um, team in terms of uh, how they play and what they're doing and what they're doing very, very well. Uh, always good on special teams because they have really good team speed. Uh, they've got really good returners, so they're, you know, very, very good in the return game. So all around, I think this is probably the best team we played to this point in the season, uh, especially the way they're playing right now. And this will be certainly the most challenging game that we've had to this point. How have you seen their offense sort of evolve from kind of years past with Matt Canada? And he incorporates a lot of shifting uh, pre-snap. What, what are the challenges of defending an offense like that? Right. Well, I think that, you know, what you really want for the, the players is um, to be able to prepare well so that when the game comes, they're really focused on what they need to do and they're not sort of all the shifts and motions and tackle over unbalanced and rocket motion and all that sort of eye candy, you know, I call it, for a defensive player. Uh, makes the guy not focus on his real keys and play uh, fast. And remember that uh, you got to play block protection, you got to tackle, uh, you got to play the plays, you got to read your keys and do your job. So uh, it is a little different, uh, especially from anything that we've seen this year. But having a little extra time probably is a good thing when you play an offense like this because there are a lot of multiples in terms of formations and motions and how the defensive players need to understand and adjust. What are some of the bigger differences you've seen in them since the uh, Detroit loss? Uh, how, how do they look different? Well, they're just playing better. I mean, they're throwing and catching the ball better. They're blocking better. They've got more positive runs. They've got more explosive plays. Looks like the players are a lot more confident, uh, not and what they're doing, uh, what they're expected to do. Uh, they've got really good players, and uh, they've gained confidence through this season, and they're playing really, really well right now. So, um, I mean, I'm not making any comparisons to early in the season, but I see a team that's improved dramatically. And I think statistically, that and relative to points scored, points allowed, um, yards per play, yards per carry when they're rushing, all those things have improved dramatically. Just wondering how you saw uh, Deshaun Hand and Josh Jacobs respond uh, during their rehab throughout the bye week and how they're looking this week. Well, uh, we haven't seen them this week yet. We're going to practice today for the first time. So both those guys will practice today. And we'll just have to go day to day with them and see how they progress and see how they actually, we feel like they responded well to treatment. Uh, they're both in position and cleared medically to be able to participate in practice. 
But it still comes down to how a player f feels that he can functionally do his job. And we won't know that until we sort of progress through the week. Coach, after, after a few weeks of talking about media distraction and outside influence and so forth, has, has the games in the LSU series have been so physical and so tough. Is it, is it easier? Do, they seem, do the players seem more focused? Is it easier to get their attention when, when you've been through a series of games like that with a team? Well, I think that's what you hope for. I think you hope that your team really understands what it takes to be more physical and play against a team who tries to be physical, um, how important it is to win on the line of scrimmage, how important it is to be well prepared and well focused in a game. And I think, again, that goes back to that energy deal. Um, when you have the right kind of mental intensity, your energy is good, your focus is good, your preparation is good, you go into the game with a lot of confidence and you have the right mindset to be physical. I think those, all those things are really important in a game like this. And for the players who have been here and played in this game before, they should really understand that. Just how have you seen Hootie Jones progress and mature over the course of his career, not only just from the beginning, but since last season? Hootie's done a marvelous job, especially this year, in terms of how he's played, the consistency that he's played with. I think that Hootie's improved every year that he's been here. Uh, I think now he has a lot better confidence in what to do, how to do it, why it's important to do it that way. And I think he plays faster because of it. Um, and he's made more plays because of it. So we're really pleased with the um, the way he's progressed through his career here and the way he's performing you know, right now for our defensive team. How would you assess Bo Scarborough's play up until this point, and what do you think contributed to his surge at the end of last season? Well, we have a lot of confidence in Bo. Bo has, uh, we're not disappointed at all in what Bo's done to this point in the season. Uh, I think Bo is a guy that uh, can certainly be a physical dominant sort of player and at times this year he has been that and because Damian Harris has played extremely well maybe he hadn't had quite the opportunities that he had a year ago but I'm sure that at some point in time this season you'll see him sort of break out and show what he can do and his presence will be felt and we hope it's in each and every game from here on out that he'll make that contribution, and we know we have a lot of confidence in his ability to do that. Coach, the playoff poll will come out on Tuesday. You guys will probably be number one in it. Just how are you feeling about that, the poll and where it, when it comes out and how that may I, I could play. care less about the poll. I mean, what, 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 what significance does a poll have right now? I mean, all we're talking about here is the challenge of our season and where are we going to be in the poll if we don't play well in the next four games? So I'm focusing on the next four games. I could care less about the poll. You won't see me wasting any time watching TV or watching who's one, who's two, and it really doesn't matter. What really matters is how you play the rest of the season, how you focus the rest of the season, how you stay focused the rest of the season. If our players think anything of it, then that could be a problem and an issue too. Um, and, you know, these are the things that we try to – categorize as poison that you really don't want your players to be focusing on or thinking about. But I appreciate you asking so I could get this off my chest. You guys have been pretty liberal as far as rotating running backs this season. Uh, as you look ahead, not only to the LSU game, but these final four, how much do you anticipate that paying off in terms of guys being a little bit fresher as opposed to how they might be otherwise? Well, we're hopeful that it pays off and we're hopeful that every one of our guys are sort of full strength, getting better, feeling more confident, uh, ready for uh, each game one at a time here as we play them uh, down the stretch. And the SEC season really starts for us. And uh, hopefully each one of these running backs who can make a significant contribution to our team uh, are, are ready to play their best football of the year. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.